Hello, my name is Jessabel Roca Gonzalez. I have a multidisciplinary practice. My installations include video performance, photography, soil, live plants, and grow lights. Currently, I work in my hometown of Añasco, Puerto Rico, and Tampa, Florida. For this video, I revisited previously made footage which hasn't been used for any of my works. I'm constantly making videos when I'm home so that I have a lot of footage to work with when I am away. I selected video and audio clips that show environmentally what I am attached to, a scene like my bedroom, the constant back and forth between family houses, visual interactions of the land and people's interactions with it, the abundance of flora in my hometown, and interactions or moments with family, which are the main concerns in most of my works. Mostly I've kept the environmental sound as a way to remain consistent and linear since the multiplicity of images usually interrupts the screen narrative. The layered images are a way to manage layered narratives and help introduce side conversations to the main video. Trying to always show landscape is how I identify placement and the idea of existing outside of the screen. And the scene of hair being braided each shot is a different time, but they're all shown together. I like that they show the multiple stages and I like that each frame makes my eyes jump around. How do I decide when I'm done? Most of the times I think I am done and other times I just revisit until I think the work can't be worked anymore. Composing the scene depends on what type of video I have made. Sometimes I add a layer and a lot of visual components together and other times I just let it exist as a single shot. This is a video tutorial breakdown of how I constructed my video. 
On my timeline, I have three scenes tied together with two repetitive transitional scenes. Here you see the opening scene. It is a one-shot car drive overlaid with a one-shot bedroom scene. I personally favor the one-shots, um, but by overlaying a moving frame with a still frame, you can have a moment of death and sort of like a dynamic be movement between both frames. Um, I feel like a still image and a moving image kind of get along very well. And it also helps you to lead into the transition. For this video, my transition shows planting trees from the perspective of looking up. For this, I just used four visuals as one. It is the same video made to fit one frame. I like how the viewer can go from the forward perspective from the previous shot to this one where there is a constant movement in all of the views and the viewer can shift how they sense the video from looking forward to just like feeling something from above, even if they're not looking at the video projected from above. With the next scene, I wanted to show the environment with people, um, showing the feet moving and like dancing and music with these like little pop-up screens of someone interacting with soil. This shows the duality of the land and I'm really attracted to sort of like visually show how people interact with different parts of the land, specifically the land of Puerto Rico. Um, this again has repetition and it is edited with scenes, um, sort of like in scenes, like if you think about it, it's like a screen within a screen. Um, in a way, it's like to interrupt the visuals, but at the same time, both screens have very dynamic movements, so putting two opposite movements that work very well in like the same frame is something that I also like to play with. Again, I am reusing the plantains as transitional scene to be cohesive with repetition. It's almost like a pattern that you can visually create. And because I like to utilize and reuse my footage as much as possible always. So whenever I make video, I try to not have that video exist as only one video, to just try to use it in multiple places and multiple videos and even multiple times within the same video. The last scene has a still main frame and it's overlaid with shots of my family and movement. The landscape shot is like a very quiet shot or it feels very quiet. And then first it's overlaid with a shot of my nephew playing with his toy horses, which the light really kind of like contrast the visual of the silence in the background shot and also his actions, you know, like the playing with the horses kind of like moving and going up through like the frame shows like that type of like death from like one plane to the other. And I think it plays very well with the video of the landscape. While the other video of me braiding my sister's hair makes things more about like closeness. So the viewer is almost in the perspective of the person that is touching her hair. And that feeling of like togetherness is something that I am also really attracted to. I think I've said that a lot, but I really like to play with the perspective of the viewer. Um, so that's something to think about. And at the same time, because the visual is divided within three panel views of the hair and the braiding, it kind of shows like the progress and towards the third panel, which is the end of the braiding, that that's where the video can be finished. It can be finalized. Um, I hope that you guys enjoy this. Um, thank you so much for having me.